warming up, rolling your shoulders, loosening up. We've all had a lovely long weekend, well, normal weekend, and good. And let's rolling the shoulders back. Sliding back, Kayla's refusing to go downstairs. She's in it. Good, getting a nice movement in your thoracic spine. Lovely, arms out to the side, and let's rotate those shoulders. Twisting, good. As with anything, if anything is sore, please don't do it. If you need to work around an exercise, you're welcome to. There's always exercises that you've got on the go from the year of doing Pilates. You can always add anything in if you don't like something. I'll tell you what Maxie's doing for the upper body stuff if you want to miss out any of the exercises. Lovely, right, let's do our dynamic warm up. Grabbing your knee into your chest and changing sides. Good, we're gonna do three alternating sides. Hold for a second, make sure you get your balance and then change. One more each side. Very nice. All right, grabbing under your shin and under your knee, pulling it up and change. That's it, let's go for two more each side, lifting up, changing sides. Make sure you work on your balance, use your abs and your hip stabilizers to hold you nice and steady. Last one, very good, grabbing your foot, make sure you squeeze your bum in, knees together, reaching up, and changing sides. Knees together, hips squeezed, and change. Good, and change, squeeze. Last time each side, we can hold it here or we're gonna reach forward. Stretch, and coming up, very nice. And change sides, reaching forward. And change, very good. Right, crossing your right leg over your left, relaxing your arms down to the floor, then coming up, opening up in between, and change. Left over right. Back through the middle, opening up, and other side. And change. Good, relax your head when you're hanging down. Make sure you let your head and your arms completely relax. Last time. Very nice, legs nice and wide. We're gonna slide your hands down the one side. Reaching round in front of you and coming up the left. And down the left. Stretching as far forward as you can as you go around. So you're stretching those hamstrings. Reach. And up. Down and across and reach. One more each side. Sliding down. Stretching round. And up. And last time. And up. Very nice. Keep those legs nice and wide. We're going to do little side bends, warming up our knees and our inner thighs. Make sure your legs are beautiful and wide. And let's go for three more. Two more. One more. Hands on the floor, resting them down. So you're dropping lower. And stretch. For five. Four. Three. Two. And one, now we're gonna change foot, uh, sorry, hand to foot, stretch, bending the knee. If you wanna keep your knees straight, you can just twist from the hips. Otherwise, we're adding the bum. For five, rotate that spine. Four, three, two, and one, lovely. Relax it down in the middle, drop your head down. Walk your feet in towards each other and curling up one vertebra at a time. Curling all the way up and relax. Right, we're gonna get started. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds to rest. Grab your weights if you want to. Um, we're gonna do the squat and reach first. So I'll show you the exercise first. Wide legs, you're gonna squat down and reach up. When you squat down, your weight's through your heels and I want your back nice and straight. I don't want to see anyone rounding. If you find you're needing to do that to get down, rather just squat and lift up. 
okay. Right, let's go in three, two, one, let's go. Down and up. I'm going more one strong. Absolutely, <laughs> squeeze. Tummy pulled in. Make sure when you're reaching your arms up, you're not going directly above your head. Because if you do, you're going to arch your back. So your tummy stays in. Down and up, back nice and straight, weight through your heels. Nice, we've got 20 seconds left, keep it up. Breathe out as you lift your arms up. Nice, straight back. Shoulder blades down and back, make sure you're not arching your back. I don't want to see any arching, have your arms in front of you. Nice, and relax, very good. You're going to keep one weight. You're going to hold it in your left hand. We're going to lunge to your right side and up a little bicep curl. If you're not using weight, you can literally just touch and coming up. Let's go. Drop the hips back. Shoulders down and back the whole time. That's beautiful. I want to see the space between your neck and your shoulders. If you want to, you can keep your legs wide and just drop down. Tummy pulled in. That's it, otherwise you push up that leg. 20 seconds left. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. 15. Drop the hips down and up. Good job. Five. Three. Two. Give me one more. Great job, 15 seconds to rest, other side. If you want to, you can keep your legs wide and just drop and come up if you find the pushing up is too much. Right, let's go, other hand, right hand with your weight, going to the left, let's go. Down, make sure your shoulder blades are pulled down and back. Tummy's pulled in nice and tight. We're pushing off this leg, squeeze. Breathing out as you're pushing up. Nice, everyone. Back is flat. From the side, it looks like that. Bum's going back. Nice, 10 seconds. Whew, I can feel this. Heart rate's going up. Five, three, two, give me one more lunge. And back, very nice. We're gonna come onto the mat. And we're going to do shoulder taps in a plank. Shoulder taps, full or half plank. If you don't want to do shoulder taps, you can do sit-ups. Okay, but the rest of us, we're going to go into a plank. Shoulders down and back. And let's go. Feet nice and wide. Tummy pulled in. Breathe out as you tap. Make sure you keep your hips and your shoulders facing the floor, so you don't want to twist. If you need to be on your knees, that's absolutely fine. Keep going. 20 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. Good job. Tummy in, shoulders down, back flat. Five, three, two, and one. Very nice. Come and sit on your bottom. Grabbing your weight if you want to. We're going to do sit-ups. Sitting up. Arms above the head, curling down. You don't have to use the weight if you don't want to. You can do a normal sit-up. You get a little bit of extension at the top. Let's go. Curling down. Pull that belly button in. Breathing out. Curling down and up. Very nice. You can stick with a normal sit-up, shoulders down and back. Curling down, make sure having the weight doesn't take away from your form. You're breathing out to come up. Pull that belly button in. Curling down, we've got 10 seconds. Chin on your chest. All the way down. Five. Three. Two. One, great job. We're staying in that position. Grab both your weights if you want. 
We're going to roll halfway down. And we're going to come up and open the hands. These are too heavy. I'm going to have to use lighter ones. Right. So your hands are going to be up in like a press. And from here, we're going to curl down and come up. Curl down through, let the arms together. Come up and you open. Let's go. Breathing out. Pull that belly button in and lift. Make sure your weights aren't too heavy that you hurt your neck. Your elbows stay up. Nice, and you curl down. Tummy pulled in. We've got 20 seconds to go. Really roll through that spine. As you roll back, tummy pulled in. Nice. 15. Nearly there. Make sure you're pulling in that belly button. Shoulder blades down and back. Little half roll and open. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come onto your hands and knees. We're going to do a row on your hands and knees. So, let's set ourselves up. Okay. Shoulders down and back. You're going to straighten out your left leg. And with your right arm, you're going to have your right arm in front of you. And we're going to row. Let me just change sides so you can see me better. So, left leg out straight. Back flat. Arm in front of you. And we're going to row. Shoulder blade down and back. Tummy pulled in. You keep your hips and your shoulders facing the floor. That's it. If this becomes too uncomfortable, you can drop your leg and just do the upper body. That's it. Tummy pulled in all the time. Slide those shoulder blades down your back. We've got 15 seconds. Breathing out as you scrape that elbow along your side. Five. Three. Two. One. Beautiful job. Let's change sides. When you row, you want to think of touching your elbow against your ribs. Tucking that pelvis under. So let's straighten out your right leg up. Tummy in. Left arm forward. And let's go. Let's row. I'm not touching the floor with that left hand. I'm keeping it slightly off the floor when I straighten it. Pulling up. So from here, it's literally going in front. Tummy pulled in. If I was taking my arms straight down to the floor, I'd actually touch the floor. So we stretch it out. Remember to keep your back nice and flat. Shoulders down and back. We've got 15 seconds. Very nice. Great control. 
We've got 20 seconds left. You okay? Drop it down. Just checking my studio participants. 10. Woo, this leg is burning. Whew. We got this. Three, two, one. Well done. Shake out that front leg. So sometimes it's nice just to mix it up a little bit. Same exercises, but done in a different tempo. And it really works. Right, grab in your weights again. We're going to change sides. So we're going to do the curtsy lunge on the other leg. Leg behind. Shoulders down and back. Tummy in. Let's go. Down and up. So my left back leg is crossing at the back. That's it. Dropping down. Hips stay facing forward. Down and up. Nice. Keep that belly button pulled in. Dropping down. We've got 25 seconds. All the way. Then we're going to do arms. I promise. We give our legs a rest. Whew. 15. It's getting quite dark here in Cape Town. Luckily I've got my light. But the skies are getting grey. Five. Three. Two, one, and popping those weights down. Right, same leg behind. We're going to do our curtsy to normal. So from the side, curtsy, normal. I'm keeping quite low on this leg. I'm not coming up in between. If it's too uncomfortable, stick with the normal lunge. Let's go. Curtsy. Tummy pulled in, shoulders back. Keep that form. Whew, I can feel this burning already. Dropping down. That's it, you got this. We got 20 seconds left. This front leg is working hard. Woo! Keep going guys, nice work. We've got 10 seconds. I did a little cop out rest there, you saw it. Especially on Felix's big Apple TV, I'm life size. Three, two, one. Shake that leg out. Well done. Grab a quick sip of water and then let's get going again. I'm back. Right, we're going to go into push ups. If you don't want to do push-ups, like for Max, he does a broken arm, you can do pelvic curl or sit-ups. Okay, those are your options if push-ups are not an option. Tummy pulled in. Hands directly under your shoulders. Back nice and flat. Tucking under. Let's go. I want you to graze your ribs with your elbows. Try and keep those elbows going back towards the ceiling. Nice. Breathe out as you're coming up. As you breathe out, pull that belly button even tighter. We've got 20 seconds. Shoulders down, away from your ears. Don't arch the back. 10. Good job, my knees are sliding away. Three, two, one. Very nice. We're going to go into bombs. So in a plank or a half plank on your elbows. And you're going to touch, touch in a plank. Okay. If this is uncomfortable for any reason on your arms, give me sit-ups. Let's go. In three, two, one. One, you can be on your knees, you're going to tap. You want to keep your hips and your shoulders in the same line, don't twist them. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. Breathing out as you tap. Very good, keep going. Great form everyone, back nice and flat. Drop the hips down a little bit. We've got 10 seconds. 
Shoulders down. Five. Three. Two. One. Well done. Come now on your left side. We're going to go into a clam lift. So on your elbow, if you want to for this, do a clam normally on the ground with your feet up. You can, that's your way. option one. Option two is on your knees. We're going to lift and open. Right, Wait, let's get going. Breathing out as you lift. So on your knees, half plank and clam. Good. Breathing out as you lift. So we lift and open. If you want to, from here, rather just do a clam on the floor. Lift your feet up and clam. Very good. We've got 20 seconds. Breathing out, tummy pulled in all the time. Lifting up from under here, push the floor away. Great job, 10. I've lost my studio participant. <laughs> Three. Good, give me two more. Last one. Very nice. Come lie on your back. We're going to go into normal sit-ups. The studio participant is not with her. And by your side. And let's go. Breathing out to come up. No weight with this. Just curling up. If you want to put your hands behind your head, you can. But then they must stay there. I don't want to see anyone throwing their hands forward. So hands over here. You tuck your chin in as you curl down. Tummy pulled in, rolling through that spine, breathing out as you lift up. Very nice. Really make sure that you're using your belly button, curling it in. We've got 15 seconds. Slow and controlled. No, that's much better. Keep the feet on the floor. We've got five, three, two. Give me one more sit up. Very nice. Let's go to the other side for our clam lift. On the right elbow. Make sure your elbow is directly under that shoulder. Lifting up from here. Making sure that you're not sinking into that shoulder. Lifting up. Tummy pulled in. We're going to go in five seconds. We're going to lift and open. If you want to stay down and do the clam on the floor, you can. And let's go. Breathing out as you lift. Really think of pulling that belly button in, squeezing from the underneath, pushing the floor away with your arms so your serratus anterior here is activated. That's a postural muscle, you don't need to remember the name. Tummy pulled in, breathing out as you squeeze. 20 seconds. Lifting up. Very nice, remember if you want to stay lying down, you can do the clam at the bottom. Squeeze, we've got 10 seconds. Nice. Tummy in, five, three, two, one. Beautiful, come and stand up. I am making you stand up and lie down in between because that also gets the cardiovascular system going, so it's very good for your heart rate. So from here, you're welcome to use weights as well. We're going to stand with your legs nice and wide. We're going to do a sumo squat. If you've got weights, you can keep them up here so that you're not hanging on your neck. Or if you want to keep them here. I find this way it pulls on my neck a little bit. So if I keep them up here, my posture is better. Sorry, let me just do something on here. Not now. I went to side to try and do an update. Right, legs nice and wide. Down and up. Tummy pulled in. Make sure your knees are going over your feet. So if your feet are at 45, your knees are at 45. Dropping down nice and low. Very good. Feet, make your legs even wider if you can. So your legs, are, your feet are much wider than your hips for a sumo squat. That's better. Dropping down and up. My back is staying straight. 
Make sure you're not leaning forward. Beautiful, guys. We've got 20 seconds. Down and up. Tummy pulled in, dropping down. 10. Good. Shoulders away from your ears. 5. 3. 2. 1. Very nice. From here, you can keep your weights or put them down. You're going to twist into a lunge. Back into a sumo. Twist to the other side. Back into the squat. Nice and slow. Make sure your legs are nice and wide. Let's go. Middle. And twist. If your legs are wide enough, when you turn to the lunge, you can see my knee is over my ankle. So you want to have your legs nice and wide. If this is too much, stay with the sumo squat. That's perfect. Tummy pulled in, make it slow and controlled. We've got 30 seconds left. Dropping down and up. Lunge. And down. Nice work. These legs are strong. 15 seconds to go. Nice. We're going to work some arms just now. Three, two, and one. Lovely. Right, pop the weights down for this. I was going to use weights, but actually I want your form to be really good. So from here, you're going to stand on your left leg, right leg behind you. Arms up. You're going to do a shoulder press, reaching up, and then tucking in. When you tuck, you really want to curl. So it's almost like I'm doing a crunch. So you're going to balance on the left leg. Arms up. Tuck. Stretch out. When you stretch, you're not arching. Tummy in. Let's go. Tuck. And reach. <sighs> Breathing out as you tuck. Stretch and work your glutes as you reach. Tuck. Reach. Tummy pulled in. <sighs> Slide those shoulders down and back. 20 seconds left. Tuck. Reach. Really control it. As your arms go up, your shoulder blade pulls down. Sliding away. Five. Three. Two. And one. Just relax it down to the floor. Stretching out that low back. And then curling up. Getting ready for the other side. If you find your back is hurting, drop this leg down. If the back leg is too high, you might be pinching in the back. So keep it nice and slow and controlled. So other side, standing on my right leg. Left leg out behind me, slightly off the floor. We're going to reach and let's go. Tuck. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders down and back. Stretch. Nice. You're really controlling it here. Because if you want, you're going to arch your back and you're going to wobble. Very nice. And reach. We've got 20 seconds. Nice long leg. Stretch. Tuck it in. Whoopsie. 10. Shoulders down and back. Make sure you're tucking under. Three. Two, one, and dropping it down to the floor again. Reaching up or stretching your back however you feel you want to. And curling up. Stretching out that low back. Very nice. We're going to go into a five minute arm series. So from here, I'm going to do it in kneeling because I actually just get better. I can show you my arms better. You're welcome to stay standing, but what I do find in kneeling is I'm able to squeeze my bum and my tummy more. So you can decide, standing or kneeling. We're going to go for five minutes. The arms are going to burn. If you need to rest, rest and then come back and join. You don't need weights for this. 
If you want to use lightweight, you can, but I promise you're not going to need it. Right. Let's go. In three, two, one. Arms out. Spread those fingers. Hands facing backwards. And we pulse. Tummy pulled in all the time. Squeeze. Sorry, I'm trying to find with the light where there's not a massive shadow. There just is. It's okay. Pulsing back. Spread those fingers nice and wide. Tummy in. Shoulders away from your ears. Push. As if you're pushing against a wall. Good. Now we're going to rotate forward and back. Keep pulsing back. Squeeze. Stretch those fingers. Make your hands really active. Shoulders away from your ears. Push. Tummy pulled in. Nice. If you find your neck starts to hurt, lower the hands down a little bit. Squeeze your bum. Squeeze your tummy. We've got five seconds of this. Nice. Three, two, one. Palms to the floor. Circles one way. Don't relax your stomach. Don't stop squeezing your bum. Make sure your shoulders aren't hunched. Pull those shoulder blades down your back. Tummy in. That's it. Squeeze. This is three. We're doing ten exercises. Whew. Three. Two, one, circles the other way. Try and lengthen those fingers away from your arms, away from your shoulders. You want to touch the wall away from you. Oh, my arms are burning already. Shoo! We are going on two minutes, about three minutes to go. Damn! Ten seconds. Don't forget to squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy. Nice. Now jazz hands, pull those elbows in. This is like a little bit of a change of pace, gives us a brief rest while still working those arms. Imagine you're pulling two bands from the walls opposite you, so you squeeze, really pulling into that waist. I don't just want this, I want active, pull away. Imagine your fingers are trying to resist you. We've got five, three, Two, one, in front, pull back. I bend line with my shoulders, palms are facing the floor. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Tummy pulled in. Tuck that chin in slightly. Make sure you don't get to there. You want to tuck your chin in. Nice. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze your bum. Elbows stay up. In line with the shoulders. Five. Squeeze. Three, two, one, hold it there and pulse. Now imagine you've got a little wall that's between your shoulder blades. You're squeezing it. We're literally trying to squeeze those blades together. It's a small movement. The elbows stay up. Don't drop the elbows. Tummy pull in. Ten. Nice. We've got one minute to go. Nice. Arms up and down. 90 degree change. Squeeze. Tummy pulled in. I lied. We've got one more exercise after this. I think. Yes. I didn't lie. It was in my head. 10 seconds. Oh, the arms are burning. Five. Nice. Three. Two. One, now you're going to change, alternate, walk like Egyptian arms, your arms should be burning, if they're not, you are a machine, Whew. we've got 20 seconds, shoulders away from your ears, don't hurt, don't move your upper body, it's just the arms, tummy in, squeeze the bum, you're five, three, two, one, and relax those arms. Well done, everyone. Very good. Relax them out. You all look a little stronger than I do right now. I'm impressed. Right, let's go lie on your back. We're going to do some upper, some abs. So, lie on your back. Rolling back. Legs up in tabletop. From here, hands behind your head, but 
Put your head stays on the floor. And we're gonna do our single leg stretch. Let's go. Very nice, tummy pulled in, tilt your tailbone. Make sure that your back stays glued to the floor. Very nice. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, six ab exercises. We've got three minutes of abs, let's keep it up. Tummy pulled in. Don't arch your back. In five seconds, we're gonna add the oblique twist to this. Tummy in, three, two, one. Lift the head and shoulders, opposite shoulder to knee. We're gonna twist and twist. Keep that low back glued to the floor. If you need to lift your legs up, you can. Squeeze. Tummy pulled in. Don't arch the back. Nice, we've got 10 seconds. Shoulders down, tummy in. Three, two, one. Feet together, let's go into our leg swaps. Make sure that you're hinging from the hip. You're not hinging from the knee. Your tummy is pulled in flat against your spine. Lift the tailbone and squeeze. Tummy pulled in. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Now feet together, open the knees. We're gonna do our diamond leg swap. Tummy pulled in, tilt that tailbone. Make sure your back is glued to the floor. Your knees are open. Dropping down and up. Nice. Tummy pulled in and squeeze. As you drop that leg, make sure your back doesn't arch. So you have to tilt that tailbone more. 15 seconds. Nice. Squeezing up and down. Three, two, one. Put both feet on the floor, feet together, knees open. We're gonna go into our diamond sit up. So from here, your legs are open and you're curling up and down. If you need to crunch, you can crunch, otherwise you're curling up all the way. And curling down, knees stay open, feet are together. That's it, so from here, my legs are like that and I'm rolling through my spine. Let's go. Breathing out as you come up, curling down. If it's difficult to come up, you can do a crunch. That's it, squeeze. Nice, we've got one more minute. Curling up and down. Three, two, one, very nice. Now stay sitting if you can, feet either on the floor or feet up. You're gonna put your hands together and either from here you're gonna touch. So you're gonna half roll down. Try and touch the floor, you're twisting. Otherwise your legs are off the floor if you can manage. Only if it doesn't hurt. I've got Felix who's got some pointy feet there. If you find your back is sore, then lie down and twist. It's the same action. I don't want you hurting yourself. Nice, 10. Tummy pulled in. Five. Nice little pointy feet there. Three. Two, one, rolling down, legs up to the ceiling, knees bent slightly, hands on the floor. Reverse crunches, lifting the hips up, let's go. Breathing out as you lift. It's just a small movement. I don't wanna see legs rocking. Squeeze. Good job. We've got 10 seconds. Use your abs to lift your bum. Breathing out for five, three, two, and one. Well done and relax. Very nice. Whew. Good job everyone. Let's stretch it out. Keep lying in this position with your feet nice and wide. Have your feet wider than your mat. And you're just gonna roll your knees down from one side to the other. 
This is really nice to loosen off the hips. Rolling your knees side to side. Hands out to the side. And just keep rolling for another five more. Very nice. All the way down. Three, two, one. Lovely. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. And come and sit up. We're going to stretch out the back and sitting. Cross your right foot over your left leg, over your left knee. So I'm sitting with my left leg crossed, right leg going over it. I'm taking my left arm and hugging my right knee into my chest. And I'm going to twist to my right side. Try and keep that right glute on the floor. So make sure both bum bones are sitting on the floor. And you twist, pulling that knee into your chest. Lift your chest up as you twist. Very nice. Let's change sides. Right leg at the bottom. Cross your left leg over your right leg. Take your right arm. Pull that left knee in towards your chest. Put both bum cheeks on the floor. Sit on, the, sit on both bum bones. And twist to your left side. Lift up your chest. So this way we're stretching our glute and the low back. Very nice. Well done. Let's sit high. If you are comfortable, let's just roll up the shoulders. That was a great start to the Monday. Well done for Barbara doing this on her public holiday. And let's look over your right shoulder. Roll the chin down onto the chest to the left. And again, all the way, good, let's go for two more, very nice, last one, well done everybody, thank you so much, is that Anna there, hi Anna, 